and here we are appropriately in JFK Park, a park named after a Catholic politician. Around election season, we're heading into Harvard Square to ask people the subjects that they love to talk about, religion and politics. Come on. Okay, we're asking questions about religion and politics. General thoughts on the two subjects right now. I'm not supposed to talk about that. Well, why not? <laughs> Isn't that the, the message that we receive all the time? Uh, we don't talk about religion and politics in polite conversation. So we're asking folks to comment on the state of religion and politics these days. General thoughts? All right, oh my God. Oh wait, that's too appropriate. Oh my God, it's too appropriate? Or we're like, don't I have to get to know you first before I talk about religion and politics with you? It's a second interview question. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Do you have 20 seconds for... We're asking people about religion and politics. You have 30 seconds? No. Ma'am, we're asking people about religion and politics. Any interest? No. Okay, sure, sure, thanks. What are your thoughts about Donald Trump? Uh... Do you know the religions of the two candidates? Um, I believe that Hillary is Methodist and Donald is... God only knows. <laughs> God only knows. Does the religion of a candidate matter to you when you're voting? Uh, no. Um, in my opinion, no, because all people should be joined together um, regardless of what religion they are from. You know what I mean? Because clearly Democrats and Re Republicans have to work together. It depends on whether or not they want to support the First Amendment. And Ooh, so side. Ah, say more about it. So they can be religious, but they have to support the sort of separation of church and state. Right. Exactly. Okay. I'm religious, um, and that's very important to me, but I also don't feel that... Um, it's my place to force religion on others. Well, I think that, uh, in, at least in terms of religion, I think that the pro-life, pro-choice thing is going to be a really big issue in the election. I think more important to me personally is uh, consistency. Uh, do their actions align with what their stated values are according to their religion or doctrine? Scott, do you think people are praying more this particular election? Oh. <laughs> do you feel like people are praying a lot more these days because of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? Uh, I am, yeah. And what are they praying for? I think, I think people are praying for peace and hope and a little bit less um, anger. I'm a non-theist and I respect all religions. You feel like people are praying a lot more these days with this upcoming election? <laughs> yes, because even a non-theist prays occasionally. <laughs> If you were going to write a prayer for this upcoming election, it'd be, Dear God, and finish it. <laughs> Dear God, let the election get over tomorrow. Dear God, make me the next president. <laughs> <laughs> you instead of them? Yeah. <laughs> Dear God, help us like love each other more, be more accepting to each other's differences. May we all remember to love one another and be our better selves. <laughs> Dear God, please guide people in their reasonableness on November 8th. I love it. Amen. Amen. Thanks a lot, my friend. Take care. Take care.